for having gathered today for this uh, emergency uh, press meeting which has been called by the IMA Bergami. Now this meeting was called uh, as per what exactly happened uh, you know yesterday the uh, assault on one of our uh, IMA doctors Dr. Uh, Rohit Joshi uh, from Joshi Nursing Home from Maruti Gali, Belgaum. Now we had a meeting in IMA yesterday discussing about what we doctors are going through these repeated you know violence against doctors which has uh, actually demoralized us and uh, has actually you know uh, caused lot of uh, pain stress uh, and then yesterday's violence was a physical attack uh, which is you know uh, probably highest of that order of uh, you know any uh, stress which can uh, which can be caused by any person by uh, on uh, to a practicing uh, doctor so we condemn this we strongly condemn this uh, from IMA Belgami the same has been uh, expressed by uh, the president of Karnataka state IMA uh, Dr. Venkata Chalaya also has expressed the same thing that we strongly condemn such an act now the people who are involved in this act appear to be not as real humans we would call them as bounds you know this they have done it with only their personal gain I am sure because there was nothing wrong in what happened uh, to the patient which in detail will be explained uh, by Dr. Rohit Joshi himself regarding the patient part now people who have involved who have attacked and has caused this damage not only to Dr. Rohit Joshi but to the entire medical fraternity so we totally oppose this why because this has created a fear not just among public why because tomorrow they will have fear to approach any particular doctor and take a medical treatment because they will have a fear about him and even for the medical people to handle a particular patient who comes in a serious condition and not just as a serious condition we have seen a particular organization yesterday whatever they want to call them as they belong to a particular organization they have projected themselves will create a fear among medical fraternity to treat them in future itself is going to be another big fear for us that should we handle such people when they come to our you know OPD or as an emergency to our hospital so we condemn that so this is a very serious matter uh, we uh, condemn this organization which is trying to do such an act and uh, we are uh, totally against such violence or such any act which is done by uh, people like what they have done yesterday from here on we are also going after this meeting to meet the district administration and hand over the memorandum uh, as well as to the commissioner asking for asking for you know protection against us we know there are good laws which have been done by the state as well as the central government to protect us but then whenever we try to face this and then when we try to you know approach and ask them to help us you know as they try to balance between both that the public also should not be you know uh, should not have a problem and then this, uh, they, to diffuse this problem they usually they try to diffuse it but then this is going on since quite a long time I feel such an act should never happen again the best way would be all those who are involved in the yesterday's act should be uh, strictly punished as per the law and we all have decided to stick on this time and go ahead with whatever the highest level of uh, you know uh, the uh, filing of FRI, FIR. So we are going to go ahead with that and then uh, from uh, after meeting the district administration we will be going to the police station to uh, you know file the FIR.
want you to listen to Dr. Rohit, uh, you know, directly from him what exactly happened and we want you to, uh, you know, uh, convey uh, through your uh, media that what exactly happened, let the people know that such misconceptions which have occurred should never occur and the people who are involved in this for their personal gains should not be allowed to do any such act in future. So I once again thank you all all and uh, now I will ask Dr. Rohit to you know, brief on uh, uh, he was, in a, he was in a condition called acute intestinal obstruction. Acute intestinal obstruction means that the acid is not able to pass And he is not able to pass tools. The support is not and he was not able to pass tools or gas. And the reason for this was the a guard was a suspected cancer guard. The patient's condition is very poor, and in the case of Maragada, he is a good person in the civil hospital. And he is a good person in the civil hospital. He is a good person in the life saving emergency surgery. He is a good person in the hospital. He is a good person in the hospital. He is a हालचाल रस्ता नेचुरल रस्ता बंद है यानी तो कैंसर ची गाड़ी नहीं ग्रास ले लाए तो दूसरा जो उसे पेशेंट जो ऑपरेशन करने था ऑपरेशन थिएटर में दे सुधा पेशेंट जन आते हुए कहना आज बुधुन दाखों ना तालकी काई झाले रहा है अने ऑपरेशन करता है ये वड़ा लक्षण था कि यह आजार पुपस पसंद ले तो पर्याय ये सोचा सा मार्ग करूँ देना था ना तला कोलोस्ट्रोमी मंटर इंग्लिश में अन्य एवरीथिंग वाज एक्सप्लेन ये ना ऑपरेशन चा आदि सुधा ऑप्शन देना था लोग तक कि तुम्हारा पाये तो मोटा हॉस्पिटल में देखो आनी पुटा जाए चाहे तो जाऊँ सकता है और व्हाटेवर रीजंस दे चोस टू गेट इट डन एंड पेशेंट की कंडीशन का आंखिन ट्रीटमेंट लागना होती है और यहाँ चार पूरा तेरा कैंसर की ट्रीटमेंट लागना होगा अतः तेरा यही पर ऐसा सोचा होना था ना कि तुम इस पूरा जाऊँ स्कीम में दे जाऊँ पुर्ची ट्रीटमेंट क्यों सकता कीमो तेरा तो दे केम तू सिविल हॉस्पिटल अने इकड़ा ट्रीटमेंट कैसी चालू अने कार्य they started abusing अने आड़ा वड़ा चालू किया अने दिन दे मना लग के सिविल हॉस्पिटल में जाऊँ जाए जाए से अने हाली मैं रस्ते अपन ना जाता ना मैं धक्का बुक्की चालू करूँ मारा वारी चालू मारान करने ताली 